in those last few months there from the time in which the police got their 12-hour shifts to come into Tent City, they were hanging out by people's tents. They walked around just waiting for probable cause, waiting for listening, listening. It was disgusting. So I have a lot of footage of one day in May. It was after this neoliberal move to get the people under this horrible police state. In your own home, can you imagine if in your apartment building suddenly you got police state outside your door, constantly listening outside your freaking door, waiting for probable cause, saying that they're there for protection. No way that would happen. But here at Tent City, on provincial land, citizens of Canada who are homeless, not because they're lazy, they weren't homeless because they had a mental health. They weren't homeless because they were addicted. They were homeless because of the system that has failed them. Good, how are you? you oh, hey, I haven't seen you for a while. Hello. Oh, I hardly recognize you. Thanks. Well, you got a new hat on. Yeah. It's been a while. It's been three or four years. That's a pretty heavy lens filter you got on there, eh? Yeah. <laughs> We got cameras coming through, everybody. Television cameras are coming through. Cameras are coming through. What? Cameras are coming through, That's just so you know. They should fuck just off. so you know. That's what yeah, I agree. Now well, they're spreading out now, too. Hey Kevin, right on. Okay. So, uh, Kevin, I guess Go ahead, Ron. what I'm wondering is the church has come out publicly now saying that they no longer support Tent City being here. They said that the behavior in the last uh, week or two has gotten worse and they found things like uh, human feces on their lawn, needles, um, they described somebody being naked in one of their washrooms, and they're, they said although they still want a solution for the people who live here, and they care about them and support the people, they think that they no longer want the people in Tent City to be living here, especially because it's so close to a, to a school with young kids. What's your reaction? Um, well, there's downtown, if people come here, they travel, so that's what it is. You know, people are coming here from everywhere. It's the tourist cap of Canada, so, you know, it's not just the locals. It's other people that are coming in. So how do you respond to the church saying that people living in Tent City, their behavior has gotten worse and is making people at the church worried about the well-being and safety of children? Well, I haven't changed, so, you know, I keep the peace and I clean up around. I, I respect the law, so, I don't know. And there's a lot of people living here too besides one, so you'd have to ask about 100 people. Six up! People just walk right into your home. It's really interesting. Especially when they're not nice. Picks up!
Hey Anna, how's it going? Just fucking fantastic. Did um, Catherine make it to the meeting? Yes, she did. Sweet. She's terrorizing them still right now. Good for her. Nice mask, brother. Fix up. Excuse me. That's somebody's home. I mean, delineating exactly where a resident starts and ends and just is not right. someone's tent. It's just their tent. Yeah, but you understand the doctrine of implied license, right? No, but no. you can tell the media, you can tell the, the public that if you want to right now. It's the same as going up to somebody's front door and knocking. So you idea. can just say hello at the entry of the tent. You don't have to go peeking your head in. Well, like I said, it's the same as going to someone's front door to knock. There's nothing different. So you can just go to anybody's front door and knock and say, hey, how's right. it going it's in there? A, it's called a doctrine of implied yep. license. For any reason. So there's people living across the street there. Well, that's the same as when people, the same when people make deliveries to someone's house. It's the same idea. What about when people repeatedly uh, bother you and annoy you by phoning you and complaining about 10 City when there's not really any real complaint? Go well, I mean, you're getting more calls. Are they all from the same people? Or are you actually getting calls from all kinds of different residents? The media is saying that you said that you're getting a lot more calls to the area. So I'm wondering, are they the same residents calling over and over, or are there constant buildup of new people calling all worried about uh, Tennessee? We'd have to look at each particular call. I couldn't really comment on that right now. There you go. Um, Thank you. To say that. Have a good day. Nadine. You're allowed to follow them around, right? You oh, live here. Um, yeah. uh, I'm totally I'm aware, aware of that. I'm, I'm oh, I'll keep it up. I was asked, so I'll keep it up. So I understand the big PD are offering to Victoria. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to the camera. Oh. I understand that the big PD has offered, uh, they want to do 12-hour um, shifts in communities in Victoria. So just so you know, Victoria... The big PD might be coming to a community near you for 12-hour shifts. Starting at Tent City. Although it hasn't been approved yet, so... What do you mean? We work 12-hour shifts all the time. I don't... I'm, I'm actually having a conversation with the public who are going to be watching the video. Keep a safe distance of these fellas. So, hey, Bruce, how do you feel about the Vic PD's suggestion that they do 12 hour shifts at 10 City? Have you heard about that one yet? No. Well, it, it, I'm sure it's just the same as how they do it in Oak Bay and James Bay. You know, how they walk well, they just, neighborhoods that's what we're hoping. Stuff, yeah. A lot of heroin getting used in Uplands. Yeah. This is, this is actually public space, you know that, right? Well, sort we're of, actually, not really. We're actually invited on here. Right yeah. now, the judge yeah. threw out an injunction because yeah. the homeless are allowed to stay yeah. here until at least September. So yeah, these are their homes right now yeah, until you, at you, least you, then. You make a comment and he tries to respond to you and you wave your hand at him disrespectfully. You got on video there and walk, turn your back at him. That's not cool. Disrespectfully doesn't make any sense. Yeah, you're not making any sense, dude, and you won't let us talk to you about it. You'd walk away and be rude. He got on the film with you waving your hand at him like he was an no, asshole. I'm used to it. It's all good. I don't, I don't respect you when you behave like that. I don't know if you can hear me. He's walked away from me, but... That's all good. I'm getting thirsty, though. Anybody got some fresh water for Hothead? <laughs> uh... I need some water. <laughs> wow, they're really doing their rounds going tent to tent, the cops right now, just so you know.
it's not. After all, really, none of us treat him like that. He treated us like that. <laughs> hey, Jen, Preb, walk into her. How's it going? From, good. How are you? Good. I remember you from the Cridge days. Oh, years ago. Yeah. Absolutely. Were you around when the Kiwanis thing happened too? Were you Were you around when Stephen did that story? Yeah, that was. That's still. People are still talking to me about that. Yeah, this guy right here. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, well, it doesn't matter because he'll, he'll, he's trying to make a point to you guys and we're filming you guys because you're walking through here. You don't walk through, but you not as much as you do here and not as much as you do in my neighborhood. I live in a poor neighborhood. You can see, you don't listen to me. You're just talking over me. So whatever with that, man. You can't hear what I said. The point is you feel it. The point is, you yeah. didn't let me finish it. And see, that's just it, Bruce. They're, they're trained and he's working. So maybe just, you know, keep photographing him. Keep taking photos because... For yeah, but now you're going to keep talking, but you wouldn't hear me out, so I'm not going to hear you out if you're not going to hear me out, dude, so it doesn't really matter. Nothing personal, but we're all doing our jobs. We're all doing our jobs, yeah. nothing personal. <laughs> My job is to support the homeless. <laughs> We've got enough problems in our own apartment buildings. Okay, well this is for my case. I'm not about yeah, but because I have yeah. my case. I'm another faction in here, right? So we don't need to double end on the same thing. And I no, use. but just I'll, I'll see. I'll tell you. I'll just give I me want something. him to know I'm using it. Yeah. Oh, and it's good. Yeah. No, no, no. I know a lot though. No one might be gone. Oh. Maybe he was at the meeting. Maybe he was here this morning. He was here this morning. He's part of your. Uh, he's part of the uh, legal thing. He works with the oh, lawyers. Law Noah. Law. Yeah. So we're, we're looking at a better way to do that. How does it feel to know the church, uh, which has been so supportive, no longer supports you guys anymore? Well, again, I said that the individuals there that were supporting us were even here this morning. And so that leads me to believe that they still do support us. However, if their institution doesn't, um, you know, then uh, we're sorry, but we're not seeing much of a change in our daily life as anyways. Um, are you guys going to move on, do you think? Is that going to influence? Where to? Well, that's a good question. Isn't it, though? Yeah. What about affordable housing? If that was available for you, would you go there? If it's independence. Yeah, of course. If I had a rent subsidy. If, 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 right? So we were looking to start those conversations a long time ago, and we haven't heard back. So we were encouraging, yes, BC Housing and the City of Victoria to please get a hold of us uh, through, we've been writing them and calling them. And in addition, um, SIC has a contact number that I can provide. Like, okay. Thank you. Any other questions? Yeah. All right. So you came here in October? What brought you here? What, what was going on in your life that brought you here? Well, it was a place to uh, where we were safer in numbers, um, as opposed to being shuffled along in camps, parks and such. So. Yeah, if you find yourself in the in the rental crunch here, which is substantial, 0.1% vacancy, and all um, all the university and college um, population being around 50,000 a year um, through September and April, coming in and out in in our rental bracket, pretty much exclusively. So you find yourself in some less than desirable renting situations. I mean, you can have any number of problems. Um, it's it's a renters well, a landlord's market really. So, I mean, it's, it's tough, right? So uh, if you do find yourself in a position where, uh, you know, like, you know, going from place to place or from couch to place or whatever is more disruptive than not, then, you know, seems like an okay alternative. So then when, when you realize it's not even that easy to get out of that alternative, like you can have a, your, your intent to rent all in place and everything and uh, have the funding not go through, even if you do find a landlord who um, wants to rent to you. Again, a lot of ifs. Thank you. And then how come you chose not to go to Mount St. Edwards? Because you... I knew I would get, get, get kicked out. Why? They, you, they don't allow you to have guests or even people in the same place as a guest. I'm sorry, but I wouldn't spend one second in there. You know, like, what did I do to not deserve the same rights that uh, other Canadians have? You know? It's like, what are we doing that is so wrong that we aren't allowed the same privileges and right? Well, no, they're under your human rights. I won't live somewhere where your human rights are being trampled on constantly, which a lot of people are putting up with that right now in supportive housing. 
So when they remove the Hotel Act, I'll consider supportive housing. Thank you. More. Excuse me. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Oh, I know. <laughs> you can tell. Um, I'm, I'm just uh, here filming. <laughs> you have to not take the I'm not picture. taking their picture. I know, I know. I'm just saying her. Like, I'm, it's I'm no like, worries. Hey, hey, hey. No worries. I don't, you know. Camera's on now because the police are here. I, mean, I don't speak to you like that, right? So That's exactly that what I what I'm asked not for. her. Better than others, you know what I mean? And, I don't and how really, they deal with I'm, I'm, I'm here I'm, to mostly I'm, talk about my friends who are homeless. Yeah, exactly. But yeah. You know what I mean? I'm here watching I'm their just saying, Some of them, some of the cops are more objective and more even handed, you know what I mean? Some of them are fucking good good out of it, whatever, oh, and, and however good. trouble there was, and whatever yeah. troubles they had trying to manage it, yeah. it still was managed. I now felt. we just had to come together. Yeah. We're here yeah. today to yeah. help people because the you know, media and police are trying to be... They're saying that they want to do 12 hour shifts here at the same city. And, uh, I'm filming the cops right now, and I know about that. I've been doing it for 10 years. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I hear you. Yeah, so I realize that. Some people, no I don't mind being on camera. No, Tim knows that. He knows that. But you know what? Close the door, man. Ew, stop! Nobody is talking to you, lady! Did somebody call 911? Did anybody call 911? Yeah, over here! Okay, okay. he's. He He's, he's okay. Okay, good. He's like he's breathing and he's awake and everything. Can you like show that? us where he is? Yeah. Perfect. Cool. Did, did they give you Yeah. Okay. So when you've had Narcon, you have to show Seems like everything's okay. Somebody needed some Narcon. And they're fine. It's always awkward. Yeah, oh, that's okay. It's good to... Well, at least they're recording it. Yeah. Just watching their back, but not letting their face get in anything. Don't get the person's face in if you take the phone. Okay. Just the police. This is the incident here, though? Well, someone supposedly your, uh, overdosed and... Yeah. Someone supposedly yeah. overdosed and they're given narcotics and they're fine. Um, so I don't know why they separated someone out. Yeah. So we're just going to help watch their back. I'm going to shot from behind the guy. Yeah, that'd be good.